My key message is that we are facing cuts of a scale that I can't ever remember in the public sector and the consequences of that for voluntary organisations who will feel the impact of those cuts because it's their services that are not going to be funded going forward. Uh, we need to know who are the victims, who are the people who are going to not be helped as a result of this going forward, what case can we make for... What case can we make to say this is enough? We can collaborate, we can work together in partnership till we are all exhausted in doing it. If we haven't got the resources to pay people to do the work, then it simply isn't going to happen. The main challenges facing the voluntary and community sector are around resources. Uh, exactly as the challenges are facing the police on Merseyside, the budget is the top priority. It's the one thing everybody is discussing. Um, the voluntary sector is no different. And you have organisations chasing an ever-reducing pot of money. They are deeply anxious. They are very keen to show what they do. They are absolutely certain that they meet the outcomes and that they are successful. Um, but they are very, very worried. First of all, that the goalposts might change, the outcomes might be drafted in such a way that they simply can't meet them. They're worried that big national organisations are going to come in and hoover up the contracts um, and, the, and the limited resources that we have. And so there's just really a lot of fear, a lot of worry, and actually, most of all, anxiety for the people they serve, because they're working on a day-to-day -day basis with people, they're seeing people turn their lives around, and the thought of not being there to do that for people in the future is really difficult. Come out from Whitehall and let me show you what these voluntary organisations do. Let me demonstrate with them how small amounts of money can go such a long way and help change so many people's lives. Um, and if, you know, it was great to hear the ideas that, that Manchester are, are, are managing to keep going with new ideas and collaborations that appear to work successfully. Um, I fear that there is a, a diminishing amount of energy in the voluntary sector in, in the area that I now represent on Merseyside. They're very, very keen to do it. They want to show the government that they work and I think the government need to listen they've got to get their ears on it's not enough for me to be required to stand and swear and make a solemn promise that I'm going to help the police to drive crime down if the government are not prepared to their, do their part and provide the resources we can work through, through it with the police the police are ready to try new ways and to and, and try and find the cuts that are being expected of them but if if the local authorities and the work that the local authorities are doing is less and less, if the services they're supporting start to disappear, which is actually going to start happening, I'm convinced of it, then the police can't do their side of the job either. And uh, I think, well, I'm meeting Theresa May on the 3rd of December, uh, I want to, well I'm going to make uh, an appeal to her to actually think again before they go ahead with further budget cuts in December that are going to decimate the voluntary and community sector in particular.